Welcome back to Plasma Channel. In recent times, our civilization has been utilizing an ever-increasing amount of renewable energy. Everything from solar and hydroelectric, wind and even geothermal energy have all become a part of reality. And at one point in time, those would have been nothing but a pipe dream. And now it's become completely normal. So since I like to push for green energy, that excites me. But there is one power source rarely talked about. I'd argue it has very real-world applications and even allows for a seamless integration of biology into energy production. It's pretty cool. Think humans in the matrix. I guess that didn't turn out too well for them. Nonetheless, it's the miracle that allows my watch to function off of nothing but body heat. It's convenient. It's green. It's the thermoelectric effect. Out of all the topics I've covered on Plasma Channel so far, this one I think is the most intriguing, hands down. Taking temperature difference and converting it into electric current. That's the thermoelectric effect. It's employed in digital thermometers, in power plants for converting waste heat into additional electrical power, and even in space probes for the generation of electricity through radioisotope decay. And the phenomenon is simple. Check this out. Take two different metals, such as a quarter and a penny, and differentially heat the two different sides. I'm heating the quarter on the bottom, and the penny is relatively cool up top. And this alone creates 20 to 30 millivolts. Conceptually, that's really cool. That means anywhere you have temperature variations, electricity can be generated. Sounds pretty convenient, right? Because of that convenience, this process is a staple in energy recapture systems worldwide. But considering biology uses a lot of energy, let's think about this conceptually for a second. If you haven't seen it, I shot an episode about human energy requirements. I'll put the link down below if that's something you'd like to see. But we function off of 8.4 million joules of energy every day. And 65% of it gets wasted, well, wasted, to metabolism and heat. 65% of 8.4 million is 5.4 million joules or if you break it down even more, we lose 65 watts every second to heat energy. So ask yourself, what would it be like if we could recapture that energy? What would it look like? Here's the kicker. It would look like 600 AA batteries a day. <laughs> yeah. While we may not be able to recapture all of our lost energy, we may be able to grab some of it which is exciting. And I say that because this guy right here is a Seebeck generator. It's composed of two dissimilar metals on the inside and functions purely off the thermoelectric effect. Hmm, you know what that means. Make one side warm and the other cold and it creates electricity. It's not much, but it's something. And you know where you can always find a heat source? Your skin. So depending on weather conditions, it can be placed directly on your skin and produce electricity, just like that. So if it's 50 to 60 degrees outside and it's on your skin, you can produce about 0.2 volts, which is something. But if we're talking about freezing temperatures outside and it's on your skin, you'll be able to produce as much as 0.5 or even 0.6 volts. Keep in mind, this is a tiny square. All of this from just body heat. So if we could incorporate this into clothing, Game over, right? <laughs> it's been done. In 2012, scientists at Wake Forest Center for Nanotechnology and Molecular Materials, quite a mouthful there, created Power Felt. It's a thermoelectric fabric made up of tiny carbon nanotubes locked up in flexible plastic fibers and made to feel like fabric, but it actually uses temperature differences to create a charge. Basically, this is the real deal. Sign me up, right? Uh, the reports I have read, though, do indicate that power output at this time is a little low, maybe as much as what's needed to charge a cell phone while it's on you, but still, conceptually, I mean, <laughs> that's freaking awesome. And the inventions and efforts don't stop there, because there have been plenty of other wearable devices popping up in recent years that capitalize on the thermoelectric effect. And one of them in particular is my watch, which I quickly mentioned earlier. It's called the Power Watch by Matrix Power Watches, and it capitalizes on the energy transfer between your skin 
and the surrounding air. Essentially, it's powered by body heat. It's impressive because it's waterproof to 50 meters and fully digital. It has stopwatch, tachometer, calorie usage, etc. And from what I can decipher, the top of it acts as a heat sink, dissipating energy away from the warmer underside of the watch. So essentially, it's a heat pump drawing heat energy away from your wrist and generates electricity in the process. I think that is brilliant. And a huge thanks to Matrix Power Watches because they've both sponsored this video and given me the inspiration to talk about this super crazy cool science concept in the first place. So if you want to join the body revolution like I've done, I believe they provided a link down below where you can get 20% off your first purchase. And their website, I believe, actually has several options for watches too. So go check them out. Ultimately, I'd argue that thermoelectric generators are the pinnacle of green energy because you can create electricity from any temperature difference around you and as I demonstrated, even from biology itself. So they're incredibly convenient and it's definitely tech of the future. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.